selectmen's meeting of Thursday, July 20th, 2017. Would you uh, rise and we'll do a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Linda, I think we're talking July 20th. July 20th, Karen. Oh, it is July 20th, isn't it? <laughs> what is today? Yeah, it is. <laughs> today is the 20th, exactly. <laughs> oh, we're having fun. Okay, I would like to uh, entertain a motion to approve uh, some expense and payroll warrants. And I will read them. So we have a warrant expense from 63017 for $137,000. $36.01. And then we have a payroll warrant for $712.17 for $4,157.25. An expense warrant from $713.17 for $91,537.09. A payroll warrant for $718.17 for $64,762.62 .62, and another payroll warrant for $718.17 for $5,108.07. And I will make that motion. Okay, any discussion? If you were to second it, we can uh, I can, oh yeah, we have two of us today. Yes. I will second that. All right. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, and then we'll approve uh, another entertain a motion to approve the Cultural Council's minutes from June 15, 2017. You have that motion? I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Then we have an announcement. Thank you to Bill Simpson Sr. for volunteering his time and effort by painting the cupola on the Town Hall gazebo earlier this week. Please note the roof of the gazebo was replaced Tuesday. The work was paid for by the Cultural Council. And looks terrific. Looks terrific, and I would like to thank Mr. Simpson for all the work that he has done here in this community. It's been a big help to us. For sure. Yeah, okay. Anybody have public access? No public access, so we'll start the meeting with, uh, we're going to approve, award. award the contract for the Dunbrook Bridge Project. And that is going to go to, now do I have to announce what the other bid was again, or can I just You can. Is you probably it? should. It's right there on the front page. It's right there. Cindy oh. wrote it on the front page. Right there on the paper that Cindy wrote Oh, right here. Okay. This right. one right. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Okay. This is the, the high bid, and okay. this is the one that we're going to Okay, work. we have two bids, and it was from New England Infrastructure from Hudson, Mass, and the bid was $300,032 and two hundred dollars and um then we also have one from northern construction service of weymouth mass two hundred seventy one thousand seven hundred dollars and uh it's being recommended we're going to award the bid to the northern construction for two hundred seventy one thousand and seven hundred dollars and what i like to entertain oh, motion. Um, you have that motion and i will second that motion and do we have any discussion on this Anything we should know? Um, just to let you know, we did talk to uh, Mass Highway. We have got uh, approvement by uh, email with using the Chapter 90 money to uh, complete that whole project on the Dunbrook Bridge. Excellent. So, when do they think, you know, do I have to sign anything or is this all set? Uh, no, I don't we'll, we'll, yeah. Cindy will have to look on the original okay. here. Right, so now when well, as soon as we give them a call, we're going to tell them we're going to need a, uh, a time that they're going to start and everything else on it because we're going to have to put up signs for uh, road closed and stuff down there. Okay. So what's the duration, Herb, yeah. just so that people get a feel for that? They, September 30th. September 30th, it has to be done by. Okay. It has to be done by September yeah. 30th. So it has to be completed. So, I mean, you're only talking two, six, months. Six, two months max, two months. but right. with coming and going, you're probably only talking six 
six weeks. Of they, you know, some, some of the companies that I looked at, they said probably, you know, it would take about seven weeks to do the project. Okay. All right. And so, so, for, so for that period of time, we'd have to be shut down? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a lot quicker and everything else, and we're not going to have to pay details out of all this and everything else at the same time. Yeah, yeah, good point. We had to have to have police officers down there. We're going to have to raise a lot more money than what's here. Good deal. So, Okay, so it's only going to be till that morning. Yeah. And you're going to try. You're going to try to get the signs up. I'm just going to put up uh, road close signs in uh, a couple of different locations. The detour signs, I'm not going to bother putting back up. I'm not going to go around the like we had before. So, just going to put up the road close signs, and people have to obey by the road close okay. signs. All right. All right. So you have a motion to proceed. To proceed, and I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Get it going as soon as we can. And we don't need back to signatures and stuff. We if you do need some go. signatures, let Karen know and I'll come I up think with you some. Have to issue the contract. contract. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But we're going to need to notify them today that they got the contract okay. and we need a schedule of what's going okay. on ASAP on that. Okay. Let them know. So. All right. All right. You you have to go ahead to go ahead with the project and get yeah, it we done. We just want to get it done. That's all. Yeah. Get that completed. And we want to thank Cindy for all the hard work that she's done on this. And without her, I don't think we'd be as far as we have. No offense, her begins to. Um, <laughs> but Cindy's but Cindy's done oh, an, excellent, yes. an excellent job on the project. Yeah. Oh, and while we're here, yes. This afternoon at two thirty, some grant is going to get awarded. And I think that, uh, again, as Cindy walks away, That's she has something move? to do with that. Okay, well, would it, could she talk about what it is? We're not sure what We're it not is. not sure. <laughs> it's the CDBG okay. grant, and we applied for two. Mm -hmm. One is just housing, uh, and the other one would be cleanup of the Finney property and housing. We don't know which one we're going to be awarded yet. Okay. Well, we are going to be awarded one of them this afternoon. No. Are you going in, I can't because oh. of grandchildren and stuff. So I think Kenny and Trish Settles are talking about whether Andrew and, and Kenny would be going in. Oh, okay. Afternoon. Ken hasn't gotten back. Yeah, yeah he's talking to Andrew. Okay, that's that's great. Yep. He thinks it's for an Indian project. By the way, which one? What? Oh, no, 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 we'll, we'll have to straighten them out. Yeah, no, now, for the housing, does that mean some design for some senior housing? Right. No, it'd be housing rehab. Oh, housing rehab. Housing okay. rehab. Okay. For both of them, it would be housing yeah. rehab. Okay. That's good. Well, thank you, Cindy, for applying for that. Cross our fingers. Yeah, we'll cross our fingers. That's right. And we did apply for that other grant, too. Well, that's we, well, well, we did just, we completed the Rice Corner Crossroad culvert. Mm -hmm. Okay. the first assessment and applied for the second portion of, the, of that for a $70,000 grant to do engineering. Oh, now that I'll ask, uh, you said how you were going to use some of the Chapter 90 money, so for the bridge, and what projects will have to be put off because you're using that money? Right at the moment, none. Oh, none? Oh, good. None. Because oh, I thought, um, I understood the other day that some projects were going to have to put aside because of the high bid. No, we're si we're, we got quite a bit of Chapter 90 money okay. because of the grants that we got earlier the past few years, so we, we haven't used that much Chapter 90 money. So we're sitting on enough that we can take care of this project, okay. and I'm going to be able to still take care of the project in the center of town here, the uh, research, yeah, recoding the uh, roads okay. and stuff. Uh, speaking of the roads in the center of town that we have uh, gone out for bids and stuff on, we got one company that is uh, protesting it with the state right at the moment. So until that gets squared away, we can't do the work. So hopefully we're going to have something squared away by this afternoon on it. Okay. So. And then you're going to make my sidewalk on Quaybox too? Yep, we're going to put your sidewalk on Quaybox. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, I tell promise me that for years. Oh my I'm just falling right behind him on okay, that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Both of all right. Thanks. Is there anything else for, the, for us, or are you all set? We're all set. I think so. Yeah. All right. And if, and if Mike's series out there, could you ask him to come in, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, you going to talk about that uh, you wanna stay here demolition that? because yeah. I I think I'm going to be involved with it. So you want, you want to stay in here? Yeah. Um, we'll wait a minute to see if Mike's out there. <coughs> Well, he knows it was at 9.30, I told him. Because when I talked to um, Jeff No, Jones, it's not here. Let me think. Well, do you want to go up the CEO and ask him discussion? Yeah, can I... You, Yep, it's in, it's in with disrepair. Could I interrupt Look, you? Keep looking. It's in back. Okay. Mike's not Would involved. you mind if I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Um, Let me see that one. When you get, so I can get back to, Cindy and I can get back to work down there. Discussing the, uh, the, the demolition stuff that's going to be happening in town. Mm -hmm. the, the highway department's going to end up doing the work. So. Well, Jeff, Jeff had said, Jeff had said that you couldn't do it because he said you gave up your construction. Well, I, that's our, that's all being covered. I talked okay. to Jeff Taylor last okay. night at his uh, office time. Oh. Okay. So, so that's all being covered, but the highway department's going to be doing the actual work most likely. Oh, good. Okay. And it's probably not going to get done until probably fall. Oh. That's probably the soonest that I'm going to be able to do it. So. All right. All right. So we're gonna head back. If you got any questions, you can give us a call. No, I need the one. Oh, here it is, right here. After that. Okay. Let me move this up, and I'll see if Mike's gonna. Okay. I. I'm gonna. Sure. All right. So we're gonna move up the uh, CEO action discussion, and you can probably combine it also with the ZBA town council. We'll move mm -hmm. up to those. Right. And so what I'd like to do is provide for uh, the board a copy of the uh, documentation from last night's, last night's zoning uh, board mm -hmm. of appeals meeting because I think it's important uh, that you're uh, appraised of what's going on. So one, I've left a copy for Beth and I have an extra copy here. Karen and I will give you before we leave. So. Um, Depending on whose count, we had at least 50 people in a room last yeah. evening um, and quite a lot of discussion. In fact, about an hour, Good hour's worth of discussion uh, relative to 6 South Maple. Yeah. Uh, the me meeting was conducted. There was some uh, issue where uh, there was a request for continuance. Hi. Oh. Hey, shut the door. Can you sit? Can you did make Pardon? Can you, Can you shut the door? Okay. Because you can't hear with the air you conditioning. You can't hear? Um, no, you can't We moved it. on to Mike to one thing and then we'll put you right on the agenda next. Can you shut it, please? What? Shut it. Shut, shut the, the door. door. Yes. I can't shut the door. We need, it, we, need, we need to keep it open. It's an open meeting. Well, then turn off the air conditioner then. Yeah. That was easy. Thank you. You're welcome. That was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> it we, seems so. We moved on to what God we're help us. We're going to get you up in a minute. We, we moved on to another one. Okay. So what you have is a document that was provided to the Zoning Board of Appeals last evening. There was a request for continuance. Uh, what we tried to do, or uh, at least my lawyer uh, tried to do, was to re help reschedule the meeting. Uh, Mr. Uh, Holcraft was called twice to inform us of who the attorney might be, and such that we could, uh, in fact, work to reschedule the meeting. As it was, the, there was no communication as to who his lawyer was, and, and, and as late as last evening, that uh, lawyer was not identified. So, uh, went through uh, the uh, discussion. What came out at, at the end was that there was uh, some question whether or not there's a statute of lim limitations. Uh, with respect to an action or an action that could could or might be taken, um, and so that the board uh, the meeting was continued 
at least at, la at last evening's meeting, it was continued to 6.30 on August 2nd. Yeah. Unfortunately, at 6.30 on August 2nd, there is a conflicting meeting, and so therefore that continuance timing is uh, in jeopardy. Yeah. So uh, we, we'll need to work on um, what that timing might be. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that we're looking to uh, the town's attorney um, to uh, support the ZBA as far as their information and knowledge yeah. Uh, with respect to uh, whether whether or not there were, there is some sort of statute of limitations. I it, think he should even come out for this hearing. I think that, and that's really what, I, under the ZBA Town Council, um, I, whether we need to vote it or not, I think we absolutely have to have the Zoning Board of Appeals. Because I know I have an email here, like, from him that um, he didn't even know about it until they called him. Well, unfortunately, that's not exactly true, truthful either. Because uh, when he was here at town meeting, I was very clear with oh, him okay. that that I had employed counsel, counsel as far as personally, mm -hmm. yes. and that I wanted to make sure that he and my counsel were in total agreement before we went into that meeting. And as it worked out, my counsel and in the package you'll see where we reached out to Jeff, mm -hmm. so, such that they could communicate beforehand as to any issues with respect to what I was, what we have betrayed okay. as far as Six South Maple. It is our content. That, on, uh, that a permit was issued in 2003 for a period of two years. It was extended to December 31st, 2005. Given that certain things be done, certain things were not done, have not been done since 2005. And so therefore, there, there uh, is no reason that the operation, the secondary operation at 6 South Maple will continue. So that's, that's where that is. Okay. So again, to support, again, Linda, I turn to you as the chair, of whether or not we need to make a motion that ZBA be supported by town council, but I think it's absolutely critical. Yes, I do. Well, I will make them. Um, I'd like to entertain a motion that the ZBA reach out to town council and have the town council here for appearance tonight when the new meeting is rescheduled. Yeah. And I would like a motion on that. And you'll have you have that motion for me. And I'll second that. And all in favor. Aye. Aye. So the, the next thing that we learned is that there is also a, a cease and desist on 6 South Maple that is in fact in, in, in play at the moment as of June 30th. Um, the, the owner of 6 South Maple has been uh, fined or is being fined at $25 a day. And now it's the same property. Same property and it is, it is continuing to accrue where the town at this point would be owed uh, something in the order of $450 for inaction mm -hmm. on the part of that owner. Um, given, uh, given that, what uh, was explained last evening is that the zoning enforcement officer can go to district court and file a, file a complaint with district court mm -hmm. to move forward on an action by the court rather than the town as far as inaction uh, at 6 South Maple. Mm -hmm. And so what, what I would like to do, and this is for Tuesday because I don't think it's appropriate because of last night's meeting, that for Tuesday that the, that the uh, select board uh, look to uh, direct the zoning enforcement officer to take an action based on his current cease and desist. Okay, I agree with that, so we'll have to have him appear then at our meeting. I would appreciate that Nick be a, a peer, and what I will be doing in the meantime is I will get the documentation as far as process and procedure okay. such that it's clear as to what he can and can't do. Okay, Karen, do you want to put, do we get Nick yeah. to come in? Mm -hmm. And now, because of last evening's discussions, I have a complaint from a Lake Road neighbor who does not wish to be identified. Um, they are concerned because of potential retribution that there might be something. That's a uh, Google map uh, printout of uh, 90 uh, Lake Road and that uh, a, a complaint was filed with me that yeah. uh, there needs to be something done about it. Yeah, I so know. I would like to direct the, and again for Tuesday, that we direct the zoning enforcement officer to uh, call, it, whether it's an inspection by him, uh, conservation, DEP, um, Board of Health, uh, that you can see what you see on the map oh, there, and you see okay, the proximity, cool proximity to water. And so I believe the zoning enforcement officer has some, some need of responsibility to move forward with some sort of action at yeah. Nanny Road. I, I, um, I agree with that. Have you seen this, Mark? No. That's a nine leg road. Don't say the name. 
Mm. I think some action needs to be taken on that too. So, and for Tuesday, and, and if Mike could attend Tuesday's meeting, I would also like to direct the Board of Health to inform the Board of Selectmen that uh, there is a valid trash hauler or a junk dealer uh, license uh, for the uh, owner of Miami Lake Road. And we want to have Nick act on that one too. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carol, he's going to act on Miami Lake Road also. Yeah. I think the DEP has been at this property before, but I'll pull the folder on it. So those were the so we'll take a, we'll, uh, a motion, we'll take a vote that um, we'll have the uh, zoning enforcement officer also attend, uh, attend for Lake Road, Miami Lake Road. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Back to Mike. Okay, Mike. We're, um, what we're going to discuss right now is we want to discuss the um, back at town meeting. We appropriated, I think it was $9,000 uh -huh. for a property on South Maple Street. And the other one was, where was the other 30 Kimball Street. 30 Kimball Street. And we talked about the Board of Health was going to be taking them down. But since then, um, Jeff Taylor has given us some ideas. We looked at chapter, I've looked at chapter um, 139. And to me, it seems a little bit complicated. But Jeff says it's not. No, it isn't. If you look at the correspondence that Jeff forwarded back in May, he um, gave a detailed explanation on how to go forward with this. So if you were to simply just read this email, <clears throat> along with Chapter 139, you as the Board of Selectmen can hold a hearing to condemn these buildings. It would be a whole lot easier than having the building inspector or the Board of Health do it. It's a very simplified prop process. It's allowed by the law. And uh, it would save us money because for us to do it on the Board of Health and or the building inspector it would be costly court procedures that would be fairly long. It, it you know, we, we'd have to have appearances in court by us representing the town and so forth. It would get costly. And, and then the co then I read something in there about how we can put a lien on the property. Right. And that um, we'll charge that person um, for how much it costs to take it down, and then it also said, said something I forgot per diem how it would be the interest would go on a per diem. How does that work? I forgot right off hand. It's something to the, the tax would it's from the tax collector, so the yeah. interest would accrue. The interest would accrue on it. I mean, if the owner cannot pay or refuses, yeah. you'd be uh, you know, there would be a lien regardless. Yeah, I said right here, a lien under this section may be discharged by filing with a registry of deed. For the record, or if the county is divided, da, 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 da. but uh, it has to have um, whoever takes this property over. There's going to have to be a lien on it, and then they have to pay everything off in full before it can be released to them. They right. can sell it. All right. So we have the potential of recouping the nine yeah. nine thousand dollars, basically. So her, her or at the time of sale, if somebody yeah. goes and yeah. purchases. And, and I know that on uh, 30 Kimball Street, somebody's approached the treasurer, but because there's a cloud on the title yeah. and the owners have, have basically it's given it. the property up, yeah, I mean, there's some title. problems there. However, somebody is interested in purchasing that. So, you know, that's a definite possibility. Okay. Excellent. Probably on both ends, so. So it's really, if you folks are, I, I, I hope you would agree that this is the, the, uh, the way to move forward and we have your support. And Herb said, Herb said he already talked to Jeff because Jeff had thought that he gave up his construction supervisor licensing, but he says that he has it so he can take it down. And he said he would, but he wouldn't be able to do it until the fall. Right, so I think that's wonderful. We're going to save some money. Mm. If the town does it under a construction supervisor, we're going to be in way better shape than if we hired a contractor. So yeah, he I think it's great him. that the highway department or, or whatnot is, is, is willing to help mm -hmm. in that regard. It'll save us a lot of money. So if you folks are on board, I think it's great. We'll uh, get rid of some light and maybe start moving forward. And we have to start the hearing. So your call from here, and I thank you. Am I done? Yeah. Okay. Yes, good. Thanks. See you. Yeah. Oh, let's see. So, what's the period of time that we can have that? Uh, 
No, you can't shut that all the way. You have to have it halfway okay. open. Okay. No, halfway. Uh, we're an open meeting. Because we're an open meeting. That's why it has to be open. So I'm late. Had a fire and a car accident on the way here. <laughs> So what's the time? I guess I don't get the timing. So we should be posting in the light. You have the copy of it now. I gave you a copy of it. Oh, mm, yeah. I probably did. I probably I do. I, do. I, probably, yeah. I probably hit it. Yes, I hit it. One okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is something signed by the mayor, set forth the amount claimed with it, without interest is filed within 90 days after the debt. Oh, after the debt, we have 90 days. Period. I'm trying to figure out what the meeting schedule. Yeah, I, I don't see it. I don't see it on here either because I've already scanned it. Yeah, it did. So it's just a matter of whether it's 30, 60, or 90 day notice. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. And it has to be given to the owners of the property. Right. We just have to have them. So maybe, Karen, I can get to. Get, get together with you and um, make you know the schedule. schedule hearing and probably just send the last addresses that we had on the mm -hmm. to uh, people, the property owners. And then we'll schedule a hearing to have it taken down. Okay. So we're all in, uh, all in favor of having this done? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All in favor? Oh, all I do, yeah. You have a motion? Okay, I'll second the motion. Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. What exactly is the motion? The motion is to move forward with the demolition to schedule a uh, meeting. At um, 6 South Maple and Fairly Kimberly. Center. Oh, it's not 6 South Maple, no. Six no, South 6, Maple. that is still, um, oh no, it's not 6, 4. 4, okay. 4 South Maple and um, Fairly Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay. Here's the next one. Okay. We want, uh, this is to appoint our treasurer, Lanny, how do I go? Priasia. Priasia. To the um, Capital Improvement Planning Committee with a term to expire June 30th, 2020. I'll make that motion. Um, I'll, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Um, and this has to be signed by Beth. Oh. Signed. Okay, and then we want to rescind. The uh, appointment of Kevin Ur Urlicka as the co-alternate uh, and appoint Maureen Leepak as the delegate. No, you want you want to rescind both those. We, oh, you, you want to rescind those. both of them. Oh, I'm rescind sorry. both those votes and then the new appointment slips have the test. Okay, we want to rescind. Uh, Ke Kevin Urlicka was the CBG alternate and Maureen Leepak was the CBG delegate, so we would like to rescind that vote. CMRPC. CMR, should be CMRPC, yes. Central Mass Regional Plan. Oh, I thought, okay. okay. No, I, yeah. Re read oh, it on the um, appointment okay. slip instead. Oh, right. I, I think I wrote it from. So uh, we want to rescind both of those uh, votes, and so I'd like a motion to. You have that motion. Uh, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay, now we want to uh, appoint. Delegate for the Central Mass Regional Planning Commission with a term to expire June 30th, 2018 to Kevin Erlicka. Urkula. Er er Urkula, er I'm sorry, <laughs> Urkula. And uh, I'd like a motion for you that. You have that motion. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then we have one here to make uh, the Central Mass Regional Planning Commission the alternate. And we would like to have uh, a motion to appoint Sharon Mahoney with the term expiring June 30th, 2018. You have that motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So that's all set. So you accept that term even after we have voted on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now we have some, now our next one on the agenda is some surplus. 
from the um, from, the, from EMS Chief Donald Fleur. And she would like uh, the following, probably by selling the following items. Uh, she has two sets of three lead electrode wires and four rolls of thermal paper. I'll yes. make a motion. Okay, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh, then we, now we have a vacation holder from um, Chief Martell. And he has 64 hours of FY17 vacation time, and he would like to carry them over to FY18. Yeah. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and I think the only other thing on there is that it's left is other than so you were going to bring that uh, We did actually recover the two oh, okay. issues of uh, a, a request by the Board of Selectmen uh, to the Board of Health to okay. confirm that uh, the uh, owner of 90 uh, Lake Road, in fact, has a trash hauler okay. or a junk dealer mm -hmm. uh, license or not. Yeah. Um, and, and what was the second? There was, we, yeah. well, and, okay, and the yeah. complaint that I received yeah. last evening mm -hmm. of 90 Lake Road okay. that the zoning enforcement officer taken action towards that property. So you have all of that? Kind? So he's already taken the action. He's no, taking the action. He hasn't. I wanted to, the, the Board of Selectmen are agreeing that right. those two okay. actions are necessary. Yes. So do we have anything else we want to bring up this morning? I don't think so. I guess not. So I'd like to take a motion to adjourn at 10 o'clock. Okay. You have that motion. Second that. No discussion on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. Thank you.